We are born explorers. We face storms and strong currents on our journeys at sea. But with each challenge, we grow more resilient and travel further. We are Pacific International Lines, and we strive to shine like Emerald of the Sea. 2022 is a very special year for PIL. This year marks our 55th anniversary, our Emirate anniversary. We have gone through many ups and downs to reach this milestone. From here on, we will chart our course going forward for further growth and be stronger for many more years to come. Our founder, Mr. Y.C. Chang, has always had an affinity with the sea, and he was very much an adventurer. In his younger days, he had traveled across the sea for school and to join his father. Later, he found a calling and passion in the trading business, crossing oceans to sell his goods. And this led him to eventually set up Pacific International Lines. PIL started on 16th of March, 1967. There was a time he gathered together with some of his friends together who has got very good background, willing to support him. I guess it's a very good combination and right time, right opportunity at the time that we started PIL. The first two ships PIL acquired was from the Dutch shipping company, Kota Singa, Kota Naga. Kota is the name in Malay, in city. Singa is the line. Just a Singapore, we have Lion City. Naga is dragon in English, yes. My father would not want to use any other name because Singapore national language is Bahasa, Malayu. Our first office was in 45 Market Street. It was a three and a half story building, you know, it's a shop house. So he has his office right inside. After that, he bought over seven shop houses along Cecil Street and where PR Building is currently located, and we move in in 1981. Right from the start, PIL, led by Mr. Y.C. Chang, focused on forging strong relationships. With the support of many good connections, it did not take long for PIL to grow in Asia and beyond. I think the relationship that we have established, uh, not all, but most of them work out well. When we go there, you know, we, we, we know the people, they help us to they hand out our ship, become our agent. As the business grow, we form joint ventures. So I think relationship, when there's mutual trust and where we share the same vision, we can actually grow the business together. PIL, we started to serve them almost the same time that Mr. Y.C. Shang started his business, shipping business into the Red Sea. And nearly now, 40 years since we've been together, we have never separated, but it's been very fruitful for both of us. From the beginning, China was a key market for PIL. In 1956, Mr. Y.C. Chang was part of the Singapore business delegation to China, led by the late Mr. David Marshall. It was instrumental in showing the founder of PIL China's potential. When he formed PIL in 1967, his vision of a long haul trade for us is originated from China. And at that time, China had difficulties bringing the export to Africa, to Middle East. So in fact, he started the first long haul sailing of PIL from China to the Persian Gulf and to East Africa. My first sailing on the ship was in 1970 as a cadet on the ship Kota Panjang. That ship actually sailed from Singapore, Hong Kong to Huangpu in Guangzhou. So I visited China three times and uh, somehow I have the feeling is that this country will going to be a great economic power and our future is very much tied into China. We are very uh, honoured to have many good friends, many supporters in China in these 55 years, including setting up of our container manufacturing plan called Sigamas Container. Someone in Shanghai contacted us in 1988 to see whether are we prepared to set up a factory that establish our first factory called Shanghai Pacific International Containers. Not only in container, but we also started logistic business. In fact, PRL is the first Singapore company to be given a logistic license from China. A key pillar supporting PIL through its journey over five decades is its people. The chairman, Wai Zhang, 
is a very reasonable people, very approachable, and also the colleagues are very close. Company barely take care of the staff, family, even in a bad time. What PIL can offer is a greater exposure and more in-depth understanding on how the shipping industry works. And of course, being a Singapore-based company, what better way to fly the Singapore flag by joining PIL? Working with PIL colleagues has been very enjoyable. Actually, PIL colleagues are a very down-to-earth bunch, very hardworking, very diligent. The industry is very dynamic, the situation is always changing, and I'm sure that the colleagues we have in Singapore and overseas will continue learning, developing, and keeping up with the industry. I like PIL because it uh, creates an atmosphere with family-like culture. Everyone is very nice and caring. I can guarantee you it will be a very interesting working experience, right? Here in PIL, they definitely try to guide you, mold you to be a better person. We are a very good uh, Shaw colleagues, which always render assistant work whenever we need. The people I work with are different nationalities. I learn a lot from them. I treat everybody as a family on board. One of my most memorable experiences in PIL was my five-day sailing on our own PIL container vessel, Kota Gadang. So throughout the journey, I got to really appreciate the value of our seafarers. I feel that they are really the ones running the global economy. The most important resources that we have is human resource. First of all, internally, our staff, both ashore and at sea, is our most important resources that see us through many challenges. So to me, this human resource contact, this whole chain, is very important for PR to grow into the future. The strong foundation laid by the pioneers at PIL and their people-centric values have made PIL into a leading shipping line in Asia. Today, PIL has over 100 vessels in its fleet, serving 500 locations in 90 countries around the world. PIL's ships sail to ports in China, Asia, Africa, Middle East, Latin America, and Oceania. If you look at the growth of PIL, it has actually mirrored the growth of Singapore as well. All right, the hard work, the vision, uh, the governance uh, has actually taken us back to where we are today. Going forward, we will do see that uh, PIL will continue to be Singapore-based and serving the interests of Singapore even though we are a global company. PIL is in competition with the biggest carriers in the world. So we always have to be very agile, very reactive to the world changes and also make sure that we deploy our assets in the most efficient manner. Even today, we continue to develop digitization. We continue to make sure that we have trained people who are always are ready to take over. PIL's commitment to decarbonization is the number one obligation we have today as a shipping line. The targets to get to zero carbon emission by 2050 will be delivered by PIL through our future investments in new ships with alternative fuels. In every country that we operate in, we want to make sure we give back to the community. We are part of the community, we need to see where the needs are and where we can be helpful, we certainly will reach out to them. PIL's journey over the last 55 years and more has prepared it well for the future. Like a well-polished emerald gemstone, PIL continues to showcase its brilliance all around the world. For the recent years that we have actually been through a very, shall I describe it as choppy water. But my thought was that I'm grateful to all the staff who stand by together with us during the difficult times. This common experience of successfully going through a life-threatening time together has strengthened the psychological contract between PIL and its employees, as well as formed a strong bond amongst the employees. This cohesiveness positions PIL well to meet any challenges that they may encounter going forward.
my vision for PIL is to ensure that it remains strong, robust and sustainable. We want to ensure that whatever businesses that we build today will last through the generations and that you know, when we pass over to the next generations that we actually pass it in the best of shape. All our staff has delivered to where we are today. And I wish to thank everybody for having contributed to bringing PIL to this 55 years anniversary. It's a milestone for a company which has been through its ups and downs, with the last two years proven that by pulling together and the commitment of everybody, we can deliver. My wish is all of us work closer and harder together to share our wisdom, to have the vision to make PRL not only a bigger shipping line, but a stronger shipping line to sail the seven seas, to be a good employer for our shore staff and also for seafarers, be responsible to the environment and be an active member of the Singapore maritime community. I hope in Taiping, Wherever you need to go, whenever, PIL will be the wind in your sails. Our people making waves in the industry with Asian connection and global reach. Our mission? driving connectivity.